a couple of weeks ago, I was walking up 7th Avenue here in New York. And there was a fellow coming at me about a block and a half away or so. And he's kind of disheveled. You, you see people like that in Manhattan. And he's walking like this. And he's having this conversation, this amazing conversation. I'm assuming it's amazing anyway. But as I get closer, I realize he's talking into a banana. <laughs> he's talking into a banana, not a cell phone. And I'm thinking, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I'm thinking, unless he has a special banana, which I'm not aware of, it's not connected to anything, it's just a banana. Maybe he's trying to make a date with his Chiquita, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Toastmaster, fellow SEC Rough Riders, and welcome guests. As a young person involved in the arts some years ago, beginning my career first as a musician, I sometimes felt like this fellow talking into a banana, trying to express myself. But it wasn't going anywhere. I gradually began to see and realize that any artistic endeavor of any kind, any creative activity, has three basic components. Like the legs of a tripod. If one of those components is missing, the whole thing falls apart, and you might as well be talking into a banana. Those three elements, we all know about them individually, feelings. The second element, giving expression to our feelings. The third element, giving form to the expression, mm -hmm. resulting in creative output. I like to think of it as a, as a formula. Feelings plus expression plus form equals creative output. It could be a song, it could be a poem, a piece of literature, a painting, a talk at Toastmasters requires those same three elements. Without any one of them, the whole thing falls apart. I'll break it down and we'll talk about each of the segments individually. First, feelings. We all have feelings of one kind or another. A work of art without feelings is empty. It's it's sterile, it's mechanical. Just as life itself without feelings is empty, sterile, and mechanical. So in order for a work of art to have any success at all, the feelings of the maker have to be accepted. Just like in life, we have to accept our feelings. We don't have to analyze them necessarily, or pull them apart, or question them, but we need to accept them. And as we accept our feelings, we can then begin to expand our creativity and focus on the other elements of expressing the feelings and then giving form to the expression. Another example of a, of a person who did not talk into a banana, but was known to, to stomp around his apartment in Vienna, real person, stomped around his apartment ranting and raving and sometimes laughing maniacally but he's all by himself. You could just imagine a person being maybe upset with something or another. Bum, 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 bum. You know how it is sometimes. You get angry and you just want to punch somebody. Bum, 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 bum. So here's, here's Beethoven. I'm talking about Beethoven. He's got this anger. This We don't know, you know what his feelings are, but he takes boom, 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 and he goes to the piano and he goes boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. All of a sudden, he is given expression to these what must have been very complicated feelings. We'll never know what they are, but we know about the expression. We know about bo 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 bo, the beginning of one of the greatest pieces of music in Western history. Yes. So Beethoven has taken his feelings, giving them expression. And we all want to express ourselves. We have seminars, we have books, we have coaches on, on expression. I was once in a master class with a conductor and a composer named Lucas Foss, who conducted Brooklyn Philharmonic for a number of years. He said, oh, we, it's great to want to express yourself, he said. But you need a project. And it's the project that's the creative work. 
so that as we accept our feelings, we can begin to work on the expression of our feelings. And we can begin to work on giving form to the expression. Now, artists sometimes maybe don't have feelings about what they're doing, but they work with the materials. The materials themselves create feelings. Color, working with color excites a painter. Working with sounds excites a composer. Working with words excites a poet. And as we do those, that kind of work, we accept our feelings. Getting back to our friend Beethoven now, who has given expression to his feelings. But he doesn't stop there. He has his bo 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 boom, and he starts to work with it. He starts to give it form, which is something we can all do, regardless of the area in which we're interested in. We can give form to our expression. Beethoven takes ba 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 bum and he repeats it, starting a different note. Ba 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 bum, and then he repeats it again, three more times. Ba 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 bum ba 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 bum ba 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 bum. We know this. Repeats it again. Ba 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 ba. It's getting above my range, but then he repeats it again. Ba 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 resulting in one of the great pieces of music in Western history. So we can take a tip from Beethoven. We can accept our feelings. We can give them shape. We can give them expression. And then by working with the expression, learning the tools of our trade, whether it's writing, painting, music, or speech giving, give form to our expression and end up with a creative result. So we can expand our creativity by using this formula. Feelings plus expression plus form equals a creative product. So unlike the fellow walking down 7th Avenue, we don't have to talk into our banana. If we can get it open, we can eat it. <laughs> Madam Toastmaster. Whoa.